Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. My name is Abhi and this is part 22 of WP tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn to create a digital clock using dispatcher timer class. So let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to create a window. And I will name it digital clock click add and here I am going to create a stack panel and I will set its vert vertical alignment to center so whatever I am going to put inside this stack panel that will be displayed to the center of this screen and the next thing I am going to do I will create a text block and let's give it a name txt clock and also set its font size to 20 that's fine let's put some text and see that if the font size is okay hello that is good and let's set the text alignment to center okay so we are done now from the XML side let's go to the code window I am going to create a private function here void set clock now I'm going to create the object of dispatcher timer class. So let's create that dispatcher timer. Actually the dispatcher timer class reside inside the system dot windows dot threading namespace. So before that we will have to use that namespace using system dot windows dot threading. Now we can create the object of it dt is equals to new dispatcher timer okay now i'm going to create the tick event handler for this dispatcher timer object we have created so let's do that dt dot tick plus equals new event handler and i'm going to put the name of the function which is going to handler handle this event so let's do that dt underscore tick okay so this function is going to handle the tick event of this dispatcher timer so let's create that void dt underscore tick and look at this what parameters this delegate has that is two different parameters that is one is of object type and the second is of event ARGS I will simply copy this from here and I will put it while creating this function now what I am going to do I will set the time on this clock so let's do that it equals to and what time I have to put here that is going to come from the date time structure so let's do that now dot I'm going to format this thing which is going to come from this now property so I will do I want to show the time in HH mm and SS format that is hour minute and second so that's it now I'm going to provide here the time interval for this dispatcher timer so let's do that dt dot time 
dot interval is equals to and this interval is expecting the time span object so let's create that new time span and I'm going to use this overloaded method which is expecting the hours minutes and seconds so I will simply say 0 hours 0 minutes and 1 second so this tick event is going to call after each one second now the next thing we will do we will start this dispatcher timer so let's do that dt dot start okay now I am going to call this function inside the digital clock constructor so let's do that digital set clock actually okay now let's check the app dot xml I'm going to set the digital clock that is the name of our window which is going to open when we will run the program now let's go ahead and run this you can see the output as expected so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching have a great day